Hey, Chris Menard here. We're going to run through a few financial functions in Microsoft Excel. There are a lot of functions. I'm going to pick on just a few. I'm going to make this related to a house note, though, so you may find this very handy to use. Let's dive in right now. So I have this worksheet running right here. This is a house note. I kept this real simple. The value of the house is $500,000. We're going to put 20% down. You can always come in here and change this. So therefore, our down payment is $100,000. Just some math here. We owe $400,000. That is what we need to borrow. That's what we got to finance. I put in 30-year loan, 360 months. Loan interest rate, I've got it at 6%. And again, tweak this to make it your own. Here comes our first financial function. I'm in cell B8. What is our monthly payment? I'm going to go to formulas. I'm going to click on financial. Here is the list of all the financial functions. And I hope you can see why I'm not doing every one of these in this course. I'm going to click on PMT, a very popular one. What I love about coming here is when you mouse over it, it will give you a description of what the function is going to do. Click it once. There's my dialog box. What is in bold is required, not bold, not required. What's your interest rate? It is 6%. We pay that monthly, our house notes. So we're going to divide by 12. The number of periods is 30 years. We're going to multiply by 12. Present value, how much money do you have to borrow to get that house? That is these 400,000, cell B4. If you notice, I already have an answer sitting on the screen and it's showing me that answer as a negative number in the dialog box right here. I know that I've got to pay that. I'm going to make that negative B4. Click on OK. So that is your payment for your principal and interest. It does not include all the other stuff. If you have to pay PMI, homeowner's insurance, possibly an association fee, taxes, that is not included. It is just principal and interest. Now, let's look at just a formula. This is not a function. What's the total you paid over the life of the loan? It's that monthly payment times the 30 years times 12 months. There is $863,000. How much interest did you pay over the life of the loan? Again, a formula, B9 minus B4. There is the total interest paid over the 30 years. Now, back to some financial functions that are really cool. I want to know how much interest I'm going to pay for X payment. X can be payment number one. It can be payment number 12. It can be payment number 24, payment 60, payment 300. I don't care. Here we go. Formulas, financial. This function is going to be IPMT right here. Click it again. Bold required, not bold, not required. Same little steps, interest rate, 12 divided by 12. PER, if you look down below there, what payment are you looking at? I'm going to go look at payment one. This is the payment where we're going to pay the most amount of interest. Payment 360, the last payment, would be paying the least amount of interest. How many payments are you paying? 30 years times 12. How much money did you borrow? 400000 And once again, I'm getting a negative. I'm going to make it negative B4 to get positive 2000 I know that it's, I'm paying this. So on payment one, when I pay that 2398.20, $2,000 of that is going to interest. If I tweak this, I'm just going to edit right here in the formula bar up top here. That was payment one. What about payment, I'm making this up, what about payment 180, which puts me halfway through this loan? I'm now at 1425 in interest. I am going to do control Z for undo. That put me back to the 2000, again, payment one. The opposite of that function, because that was the interest, I want to know the principal for a certain payment. Let's just run through this one. Formulas, financial. Scroll down to the letter P. We've already done payment, but this one's PPMT. Click it. It is exactly the same as IPMT. That divided by 12. Period one. 
I'm going a little bit faster here. Times 12, negative 400,000. <laughs> those two numbers, by the way, that I have selected, those two numbers better equal my payment. Just so you know that, and they do. So now another cool, two more Excel financial functions again. I want to look at how much interest and principal I paid, but cumulative. So maybe for the entire first year, or maybe for the first two years, you can pick whatever you want to. You could even do month 13 through month 24, which would be the second year of your loan. Here we go. Financial. We're looking for the cumulative right here. Cumulative. Principal paid, same little steps. I got a great trick after we do this one. The interest rate, number of periods, 30 times 12. Present value is 400,000. Notice we've got start period and end period. I'm looking at year one. That would be the first payment. The end is going to be the 12th month, the 12th payment. Click OK. And oh, I'm going to tweak this up in the formula bar. One comma, 12 comma. End of the period, put in a zero. I'm looking at the end of the period when I make my payments. There you go again. If you wanted to make that positive, feel free to. Let's make it negative B4 in the formula bar. Oops, I'm sorry. You can't make this one a negative B4. You'd have to do it at the beginning of it. That still works. So here's the cool tip. I don't want to have to do this function again just to change it to the interest part of it. So I'm in cell B14. I've got everything else is exactly the same. Control quotes, the key to the left of enter. It puts in exactly what is up above it. So now you just change this. I want to know what is the cumulative interest paid here. And there you go right there. By the way, real quick test. This will drive me crazy if I don't do this. I'm going to go to the Home tab, and I'm going to Auto Sum. I'm in cell B15. I want to add up just these two numbers, 28788 That should be exactly the same as my monthly payment for 12 months. There you go. What is cool about these two functions right here is I looked at payment one through 12. I could have changed the number one to 13 and I could have changed the 12 to 24. That would have been year two of my loan up there. I'm going to get rid of those check figures and there are some financial functions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to subscribe and ring the bell. This is part of my Excel online training course. Thank you.